What's up, people? This is Army Two Willis, and I'm bringing you guys here because I want to show you guys exactly what you do in level design. So this is the first assignment. You're gonna to have to make uh, modular pieces and show functionality for how your stuff works. So I haven't got to the functionality part yet, but <clears throat> I want to show you guys just what this this looks like. So what you'll see when you walk up is my building. I haven't put any trees or anything out front yet, but this is my my uh, waste management plant. And you'll see like the, the trash trucks sitting outside. Basic shapes outline the trash trucks. You'll see when you look from the top, there's like uh, conveyor belts. I'll zoom in so you guys can get a, a better view. So you see the conveyor belts here, the conveyor belt, <clears throat> I need to put uh, some kind of stand to show how it's being held up for realism, but uh, conveyor belt, the trash is moving down the conveyor belt, it moves through to another conveyor that turns it into whatever it's got to get turned into. I had, I had names for all this stuff, but uh. You get it. So, yeah, it gets turned into this stuff. It goes through the pipes, the whole infiltration system and whatnot. Whoa. That's not supposed to be there. So we'll move that out of the way. Then it gets separated and the separators to go wherever it needs to go. As you see, all my trash trucks are open in the back. How trash trucks be. Then we got where... Uh, <clears throat> the trash get dropped off so it's different piles so you got like the actual trash that can go in here then you have the trash that can't go in there full of its other materials uh, back here I haven't built my modular set pieces yet but back here is going to be uh, an office or storage room an office there's going to be a doorway here that connects this part to the storage room. So the storage room is going to have uh, <clears throat> pallets and stuff. It's going to look something like uh, so I can show you guys. It's going to look something like this with you know, hazardous materials inside uh, liquid containers stored away so that they don't cause harm. There's going to be um, <clears throat> the whole design premises behind the conveyor belts and stuff is to look something like that. You see right there how the conveyors are moving through doing their jobs. You also have the giant jugs because this is where what's happening to all the trash as it's getting treated through this facility <clears throat> I decided not to do anything outside to keep a whole building premises but I have uh, bags of trash so they have <clears throat> their trash like this in big piles but I have mine in, in bags and piles to give it that pile look as you see right there we also have uh, the compacted trash once it gets compacted that look right there so to give you guys a feel of what that looks like here's my one of my trash piles that I've been working on here and then if you look inside You see, I got compacted trash in there. I've got the trash heat piles going inside the back of the the vehicle. You know, you gotta prefab everything because they're gonna want to prefab. One of the longest things that took to make was actually the garage doors, which are made up of pieces, because that was the easiest way to do it for me personally. 
but all these garage doors are individual pieces. I'll give you guys an idea of what I mean by that. So, <clears throat> each slab is on slab to give it that garage door look with their connected beams and the rollers based off what I see when I looked at a garage door and how they function. Uh, you got different size doors, so you have these doors here, and then the larger ones. You have two different versions. You have the door open and the door closed. The large ones can fit two vehicles. I personally haven't put two vehicles, but you get you get the premises of what's going on there. Uh, when you guys get to this part, you're going to have to have obviously a roof on the building. With the lighting and stuff uh you're gonna have to have three forms of lighting you're gonna have to have a bunch of modular pieces they're gonna want uh three of everything you're going to need uh shrubbery and grass outside so those are, that's another thing i gotta build but i just want to share with you guys uh what's what's up so yours is not gonna look like this because when you do the week two, you're just building the modular pieces. So as you see down here, I got all my prefabs for all my modular things. You see dump truck in here on the prefab multiple times because they're they're gonna want you to have uh, a bunch of modular pieces for all for our building your set. I went ahead and started building the set, and then I'll break it down and do my uh, <clears throat> my functions after because I'm actually running behind this week. I had a lot of appointments and stuff, so I'm just trying to get this stuff done so that I'm not behind on anything. But I want to show you guys, to give you guys an idea of like what we're going to be working on. This phase is known as white box. So that's a white box build. Uh, right now, I'm still doing a block out mesh. So just sharing some, some insight of what you guys are going to get into. You're going to get into doing this. You're going to get into... Uh, next class is building functional groups once it's all said and done and i got everything functioning i'll make another video to showcase that to you guys but uh i just wanted to share with you guys what i got going on what what my plan is what i've been working on whatever so yeah you guys get an idea of what I'm working on I have no idea where that random piece came from probably an extra that I made or whatever but I wanted to share with you guys what you guys got to look forward to there's a lot of uh, RC style stuff they're not looking for anything perfect but they want to see the shapes they don't want you to draw any shapes from your head they want you to pull all your shapes from stuff you see so uh, one of the ones you guys didn't get to see was the waistband so when I designed my waistband in the game, I designed it to look exactly like this waistband. Minus the uh, the climbing rungs on the on each side. And the gate on the back side. Because there's the back side actually has a gate. On this side it has climbing rungs. But it's it's got that same premises. I didn't go into too much detail because obviously it's not gonna be moving anywhere, so you got that but I want you guys to see kind of what we're working on what we got going and as always just shooting you guys a preview of what you guys got coming I thank you for taking the time to come and watch this video and get an idea of what level design is like um, before we go I gotta share with you guys the layout so this is level design you're gonna do your course overview you guys know about all that already. You've had several classes with that. You're going to go into week one. Week one is the easy week. It's the easy week because you have <clears throat> a lot of stuff that's a zero weight. Your level proposal and your project setup, those are the important things. 
when you come up here all of this stuff with the zeros you don't do it minus five to your professionalism there's 60 points of professionalism that you can lose 60 points that you can lose total in all four weeks so you got to keep in mind your professionalism is 10 percent of your entire grade you don't want to lose that if you can you go into week two as you see i didn't get this done my instructors are already aware of that if it hurts me it hurts me that's the sacrifice i had to make but <clears throat> this assignment is actually not late so ignore that because i have extra time due to all the appointments and stuff that i got going on but the prototype the thing that you guys saw that i was working on where you got to build your uh your modular set pieces and and show your mechanic and work that's 20 percent of your grade the quiz 15 percent of your grade then you go over to week three your first playable level and white box 35 percent of your grade you go to week four you got a final exam that's worth 18 percent of your grade you add all that stuff up even if you don't do any of the professionalism stuff, not turning in any of those assignments or not putting your best effort in any of that stuff will severely hurt your grade. So I highly advise you guys take the time to get the very best grade you can get out of that stuff. As always, this is Army 2 Willis here to share all the things that you guys got to look forward to. And whenever I finish week three i'll come back to show you guys what my week two project and my week three project looks like until then i'll catch you guys later this is army 2 willis out